Dun, 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 dun. My Louis Vuitton Speedy BB in the black lambskin with the really subtly embossed monogram all over. This is called Ink because it is like this jet black ink color with the shiny gold hardware. It is like a bandolier version if you're thinking about the speedy styles. So I'll show you. It doesn't have a leather strap or a simple leather strap. It has this beautiful braided strap, right? So it's got the leather interwoven with the gold hardware. It's very three dimensional. It's very intricate. It's like a piece of jewelry. It's so pretty and it is removable. So you can wear this bag just like this in your hand, right, handheld. You can also wear it in the crook of your arm. It's quite petite, but it does pack a punch. I will link the video that I shared a few months ago where I show what fits inside, so I'll link that somewhere up above. And then you can actually put the strap on, and it's got these beautiful little lobster clasps, so very secure, very easy to hook on. I think this bag is so gorgeous, you guys. I don't know why Louis Vuitton is not making this more available. I had heard from some of you that this is a seasonal item and may no longer be available at all, which would be such a shame. Every time I check the website, it says it's out of stock. So I don't know if that means they'll be bringing it back at some point or if that's it, there's no more. It also has this beautiful removable luggage tag, very classic Louis Vuitton style, right? So I haven't put anything in there, but I can put my information. Here it has gold LV. So I wanna show you it's empty at the moment. Well, I shouldn't say it's empty. Actually, I have my Zumoni organizer in here. It's hard to see because it's black on black. I'll show you. So here it is. And it just kind of keeps the structure because it is quite a smushy bag from the sides because it, it is very supple, soft lambskin. As you can see, the inside, is this beautiful microfiber kind of suede feeling lining. On the website, it actually says textile lining, so it's a little bit non-descriptive, but it is this beautiful, soft microfiber. And then there is, it's really hard to see because it's black, but can you see here, on one side there is this small slip pocket for really small flat items. So I'm just going to slip this back in because I do like how it holds the structure and prevents creasing. So there it is again. Zip this up. And as petite as the bag is, it is still a good enough size that when I get my hand in and out of there, it's not too tight. Okay, so I wanna show you how this looks cross body. And I'm just wearing a very simple black t-shirt and jeans today, keeping it very, very simple. And then on one shoulder, imagine if you're wearing like a little black dress or skirt, super, super cute. Here it is from the front. You can also put the top handle down. And then you can play around with this a bit more. So I think I've shown this in previous videos, but I wanna show you how it looks with mod shots. So you can slip this through and double it up. It's so fun. So now you've got this beautiful double rope effect. And you can wear this as a short, short shoulder strap. And you can wear it like this in the crook of your arm. Or you could even have it just kind of dangling almost as like an embellishment, right? Like an accessory. So it looks like that. I think this bag is so beautiful. I think it's so luxurious. The lambskin makes it super luxurious. The jet black color, it goes with everything. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. This braided effect on the chain makes it pop. It's so gorgeous. The fact that it's removable makes it more versatile. 
This bag holds a lot. Again, I won't show you how much fits because I already did a video on that, but I also wanna give you close-ups because I have had this bag now for almost six months. And I know that a lot of you shy away from lambskin, but now that I've had a few different lambskin bags, lambskin is not nearly as fragile as I once thought. And this lambskin in particular is, it feels more durable than let's say Chanel's classic lambskin. So I'm gonna show you the corners here. And I've worn this bag quite a bit in the time that I've had it because I just fell in love. It was like love at first sight. And so I wore it a lot as soon as I got it. And there's nothing on the bottom. There's no wear on the corners. There's no wear on the sides or on the handles. Nothing at all. And there's no vachetta here, so nothing to fuss about in terms of like stains or watermarks. I don't know what to show you because it looks pretty much brand spanking new. It looks like the day I got it. And again, it's been, believe it or not, already about half a year, which is crazy. Time just flew by. It's still pretty light considering it's leather. It's not going to be as light as the canvas pieces, but it's still really light. You guys know if you've been here before, I am a stickler for weight. I don't like heavy bags. So this really works even when it's packed full. The only thing I will say is because the chain is this sort of three-dimensional, if you can see three-dimensional style, it's not flat. There's no flat section. So when you wear this on your, I'm just going to use one for now. I just pulled it down like this. This looks very strange, but just for the purposes of demonstrating, when I wear this on a thin shirt like this, thin t-shirt, if it's packed loosely it's fine but if it's packed pretty full and it's kind of pulling down on me it could dig in a little bit it has not been um so bad that it's been a problem for me and plus i find that i wear this more like with coats you know coats and blazers fall winter because it's black maybe i don't know so when i wear this over coats it definitely does not bother me at all not at all when i wear it on my shoulder crossbody at all um, but something to keep in mind, let's say if you're wearing this with like a really thin tank top or dress, like a little um, gauzy kind of dress, like a silk dress, it could dig in a bit. So that's the only thing that I would watch out for. But otherwise, I think this is, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful, most elegant and luxurious bags that Louis Vuitton has come out with in a really long time. And I'm... Sad to see that they're not available readily. I don't know if they're coming back or not. If any of you have information on this, please share with us in the comments below. And if you have any questions, let me know. I will try my best to answer them. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I can't recommend this bag enough. Thanks so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.